I think there's a lot more. And I think a uh, lot of young people, your know, students, your know, graduate students who can look at a paper and say, well, this data doesn't look right. Just, uh, so, so what you're saying is that you you feel like the world is by hook or crook sort of moving in the direction of, um, fidelity. of radical transparency. I think that's, that's the key word, fidelity. Having scientific fidelity, because if you don't have scientific fidelity, then your non-scientific public are not going to believe you. When you have your, your issues like the, the autism vaccine, for example, uh, where, where relatively senior people can, you know, fall into a trap of, of not actually reporting, then it becomes a problem. And I think, I think science is mainly what underpins everything because things like business, I feel is a business is a function of science. You need a, a, a proper pathway to be able to do business properly. And when people have infidelity in business, then you have these massive, massive collapses, things like the Renos, things like uh, FTX. Um, so from the science side of things, that needs to be the first place where you start fertility. And having good fertility, translating from science into business, uh, fidelity is is valuable because um, in addition to your research funding, there's also your entire venture capital, private equity, large amounts of money investing in scientific businesses. So your sense about this is because of so your relative chance of getting caught out if you're fucking around with the data becomes more. So even though you might have the money behind you to do something now and you might make great money, your chances of 10 years down the line or five years down the line being proven a complete liar and a fraud and destroying your whole reputation and possible future career is something that might weigh more heavily on a scientist today than it would have 15, 20 years ago. Definitely. And I think it, it should be that way because uh, you need to have transparency in these things. You need to have transparency in uh, what what gets funded from the, from, from the business side of things. Um, because when you have failure there, what that does is it leads to lack of confidence in the industry. 